Welcome to the RSP Boiler Room. I'm Matt Walden with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. We're going to take another look at Jalen Waddle here in the slot, Alabama receiver. He's 5'10", 182 pounds, somewhere in that range. What you want to see is, can he play above his weight class? Because NFL players who are in that range of body dimensions, you know, height and weight, where he's kind of a thin railed guy, lots of speed. Can he win the ball? Can he play tough? He can do both. Let's take a look at this play in a little bit greater detail. Again, he has a two way go here. So it's a little easier for the receiver in the slot when he's matched up one on one and he has all of this field to be able to cover. This is one of those things that when you're scouting and you see a lot of reports in training camp or practices where the receiver's beating the guy over and over again. Well, it's easier to do in the middle of the field when you're matched up one-on-one -on -one and this defender has to def really account for the entire width and length of the field. That said, the fact that Waddle knows that he has the advantage and makes the most of it is important to see. He begins that stem straight then widens it out breaks back in see how he uses that chop downhill it's a chop or kind of more of a a shed or that's where he kind of brings his hand down and swipes across he earns that position back to the chest eyes looking for the ball now he's got to jump back for this ball very good job of timing that jump back so that he uses his height very well and he brings his hands up at the last moment to catch that ball takes the contact and watch him bring the ball to his hand away from the reach of the defender see how he tucks it away from the reach of the defender with his right arm and you know he slammed down on the knee of that defender that de defender pulls him down onto his knee so the back hits the knee now that there's some good padding there you know that waddle has right here that's going to hit that knee but still that's some hard contact after you've gone airborne this is definitely evidence of a player who one takes advantage of the position that they put him in two-way goes against a single man widens the route straightens it back out uses the hand motion at the top of the stem, earns position, nice speed, doesn't bring up the hands until he jumps and until the ball's really overhead. So he times this well, shows late hands, shows the jump back skill you need, wins the ball, pulls it away from the reach, hangs on even when he lands on, you know, the defender's leg on his back after being kind of pulled down there like that. Definitely evidence of a receiver who can play above his weight class. Thanks again for watching. For more RSP Boiler Room videos, you can check out my YouTube channel, Matt Waldman's RSP Film Room, and my site, www.mattwaldmanrsp.com.